Hey everyone, today we're focusing on this little Dell computer that I have sitting in front of me right here. This is a Dell Optiplex 745 Ultra Small Form Factor. I picked this up from an estate sale with a monitor for only $42. It, this thing did not work originally, I believe I reseated the CMOS battery which caused it to actually work. And since then I've done a lot of things to this machine. I put in a new CMOS battery, I reinstalled Windows 10, yes the previous owners upgraded this to Windows 10 for some reason, because a lot of the things were corrupt so I had to just do a clean reinstall that fixed everything, except for this thing being atrociously slow. Then around a week after I did that Windows 10 install, I realized that those capacitors were bad, so you see that was not in there originally. I did that around a year ago today. So, and then I also got repasted this. I just blew a can of air in here and um, these hard drive rails are new. So what I have today is I have I'm gonna be installing Windows 7 64-bit. I'm gonna get a solid-state drive mainly for heat, noise, and speed. Now this is why I had to replace the hard drive rails because the hard drive fan, the caddy that's holding it in, it has gotten so hot over the years that it has actually started to crack. Here we go, take that out. For some reason this fan, if I were to unplug it, plug it back in like this, the computer will actually throw a previous fan failure air at me. This fan seems to be in good condition. I'm probably just gonna keep this fan and then replace the caddy. Okay, so here's our first part that just arrived. This is our hard drive fan and fan caddy. I don't necessarily need a new fan. Okay, so we're gonna wanna locate the fan header. It's this small white header right here. Then we just plug that in. This is a little tricky to do because it's a relatively short cord. There we go. Pretty sure I did that right. Okay, and then we slide it in via these tabs here. Seems to be behaving normally. This thing is a lot quieter than I remember it. So something tells me that that old under the hard drive blower fan was starting to go bad. This computer is so much more quieter. Doesn't really matter if it is working, to be honest, because the solid state drive doesn't actually really produce any heat. Okay, so I have the SSD installed. It looks really stupid, but let's see if this will work. That's good. Activation partition. Okay, so it detects it. Chill out. Let's see. USB device. Okay. Okay. I ain't reading all that. Here we go. I swear that mini fridge down here. Ooh, ooh. Type of password. Nah. Um, I'll do that later. And that time zone. That's close enough. <laughs> oh. oh, it's so quick, dude! This computer has never been this quick. Let's so I'm going to need to install some stuff on it. All right. 
I'm gonna start installing some drivers on it. So I got something to fix the interference. You might be able to see by the little Wi-Fi icon and the lack of the Ethernet port plugged in that I somehow got this Wi-Fi adapter to work. So now I'm gonna install Chrome. I'm gonna 100% legitimately activate Windows 7. It's legit. Don't question it. Okay, so I got YouTube working down here, which is pretty nice. Now, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better. Both channels are set to maximum right now, so that's the maximum amount of interference noise I could get. That about does it for me, restoring this computer down here. Not really restoring, but I'm glad that I could actually introduce this computer to my channel. I've wanted to do it ever since I picked it up from my from that estate sale around a year and a half ago. Um, it's been actually a pretty nice computer, despite some of the failures I've had. You crazy mother!